Hi kids. Hey, it's Miss Shelley and I'm going to read you a story today. It's one of my favorites and if you've been my student before, we've probably read it before in class, but it's called The Tale of Three Trees. Once upon a mountain top, three little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars twinkling like diamonds above him. I want to hold treasure, he said. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I will be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be a strong sailing ship, he said. I want to travel mighty waters and carry powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where he busy men and busy women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave this mountaintop at all, she said. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed. And the rains came and the sun shone and the trees grew tall. One day, the woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter took the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. With a swooping of his shining axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful chest, thought the first tree. I shall hold wonderful treasure. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship fit for kings. The third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked her way. She pointed straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven. But the woodcutter even looked up. E any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. With a swoop of his shining axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to the carpenter's shop. But the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, his work worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure. He was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships were being made that day. Instead, the once strong tree was hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat. Too small and too weak to sail an ocean or even a river. He was taken to a little lake. Every day he brought in loads of dead, smelly fish. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in the lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to do was stay on the mountaintop and point to God. Many, many days passed. And nights passed, and the three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlit shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. And suddenly the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed into the lake. Soon a thundering and thrashing storm arose, and the little tree sh shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awoken, and he stood up, stretched out his hands, and said, Peace. The storm stopped as soon as it began. 
And suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled. When her beams were yanked from the forgotten pile, she flinched as she carried. She was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when sailed, soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. And that was better than being the tallest tree in the world. So I hope you enjoyed my story about the three trees. I miss seeing all you guys at church. Stay safe and be good. See ya.